Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me. Uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right. So uh, this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and as well a Pisces Rising. A weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week and uh, just give me a, a couple of seconds to shuffle the cards and we can jump uh, right into it. All right, so the first one that you do have Pisces, that is going to be the strength one. That is very finicky coming in, uh, finicky, I'm sorry. Uh, coming into uh, this first position and it always has a gimmick to it unfortunately okay so uh, I hope that I should not kind of dive myself into explanations because I kind of like decided to tend to keep those readings on the point and as short as possible so the next one here it is uh, the wheel of fortune followed by the judgment and it's going to be a hell of a week for you Pisces uh, followed by the last one oh my god just so we do have four out of four major arcana I could say that that is quite of a uh, how do you say it fateful week where you know much is to be decided throughout the week and uh, because we do have the Wheel of Fortune on the second position, uh, that car pretty much deprives the thing from their own drive. It, it pretty much speaks that you will have everything within your own hands, especially with the justice at the end. It speaks that, you know, you are to be served whatever you worked for uh, by the, at the end, so to speak. So... Uh, the fate of your job is within your hands, the fate of your relationship is within your hands, the fate, the fate of your life in general, it is within your hands and you are to be called to do something about it. And yes, exactly, called by the universe itself, having the judgment there into the, uh, into the third position, you are to receive some kind of a sign, okay? It could be uh, a thought, it could be kind of like a hunch, it could, be, it could be anything. This is how the judgment operates, that everything glued by that sign is gonna make sense, okay? Uh, everything that happened to you that didn't make sense beforehand, it will make sense from now on moving forward. Oh my God, from now on moving forward. And you have to do something about that sense, okay? You have to act upon this sign, if we may say it that way. Now the problem, because there should be always a problem, isn't it? But uh, the problem is resides with the uh, strength card and the gimmick that I told you about. So the gimmick of the, stra of the strength card, it, it is... Uh, one for all, if I may express it that way. Uh, it is where you need to show perseverance and strength, not, um, not explaining yourself constantly of what you do and 
the most important part is why you're doing it. Say you decide to leave the country because you had some kind of a hunch or a, a thought or a sign in generally, okay, from the universe. And everybody questions that action of yours. You do not have to explain yourself. As a matter of fact, it will be imperative that you do not explain yourself about why. The, the, the strength operates in a mysterious way. Uh, the very reason, uh, the, or not the very reason, but the most important reason why you should not explain yourself, it is because the strength may be undermined and uh, kind of like you may abandon the hunch or the sign, the whisper of, uh, of the universe itself. Now, I don't know if I made my point beforehand about why this is happening, but again, this is happening so the picture of your life can become whole. So you're gonna see the big picture now throughout the week. Uh, and if uh, you are missing pieces in your relationship, you are going to regain your pieces. If you are missing pieces into your career, you are going to regain those pieces as well. Another gimmick about this trend card into this first position, and that is very strong one, it is about the creation and uh, everything you create throughout the week itself. It will be indestructible, okay? So you cannot take it back and you have to live with it. That is very important. You do create the wrong impression, well, you will be stuck with that impression for the rest of your life. But if you do create, for example, love, or if you do create, for example, um, lucrative business, let's say, again, it will stuck with you for a, a lifetime or that, or for that, or until you excommunicate it from your life itself. Okay, all right, so all the, you are the only one who can destroy your own creation. And throughout the week, it is all about your own creation. But again, it will take uh, rather effort for some of you, mighty efforts, because again, the Wheel of Fortune deprives you of luck, deprives you of a random opportunities that may force the change you require. You own have to create your own circumstances throughout the week. So uh, the strength plays in its full role and you have to be strong enough um, mentally and uh, how can I say, um, in, in terms of a determination, so you push the things through their very end. And here is where the other trait of the strength plays around. Now with the strength, you will have the awareness of how much you have to invest. Not just only about time and not just only about uh, a skills or an effort or a love and emotions, but also how much um, intentions and how much um, enthusiasm, which is the other part of the equation, that you will have to invest so you reach a, a liquid, uh, in an equilibrium and peace. And by the end of the week here, as we do have the justice there, all of your efforts are to be uh, measured by the universe because this is what you are tackling with here, Pisces. The universal force, be that force, uh, may that force be love, may that force be progress, may that force be uh, expansion regardless of uh, what you're regarding what your situation is, your efforts in about tackling with the force and making use with the force will be measured and you are gonna get exactly as much as you worked for and exactly for what you worked for. So uh, I could advise you not to do things. You don't want those things to be done to you for it is exactly what happens at the end, okay? And the last thing about the justice, uh, having it at the end, it is that uh, your work uh, is going to be on an exponential curve. What I mean, it is that creating things which could be creating a relationship or a job or etc, etc, that breed responsibility will demand more things that breed more responsibilities and it's going to be like a snowball effect, which means that if you do create things that brings benefits, they will create more things that breed that breeds more benefits and more benefits. Needless to say that if you do create situations that give a birth to hate, 
that will create more situations that breed more hate, the more, more situations, more hate, and it's never ending cycle. So make sure that you do want exactly what you are creating and what you are creating is not something that you do not want to be done to you either. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. It is a, a bit longer one, but it is a very important week, okay? Uh, and it's going to be quite faithful for you. Uh, it's a, a life, it is a, a life decider that we do have here for what I can say. And uh, hopefully you will do the right thing. And with that being said, this concludes the reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you do liked it. And uh, we may see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.